Hi guys. So you see the title, let's get straight into it. I got COVID. I caught it sometime last week. Um, I've managed to avoid it for two years now, but in case you don't know, I do work in a public school system at an elementary school and it was just a matter of time. So thank goodness it just happened to be during my last week before summer break. Jojo, stop. You see somebody out there. Okay, Jojo settled down for now. And that's another thing. It's been so hard to try to keep him away from me because he is a mama's boy. And you know, they say that pets can catch it too. So you have to be very careful. But anyway, so last week was the last week of school for the kids and for the staff. Um, the kids last day was on Wednesday. <clears throat> and then we have to work two more days after that. So my last day was on Friday. Wednesday, no problem. Friday, <clears throat> I'm sorry, Thursday, my mind is all over the place. Thursday, I woke up and my throat was a little scratchy, but I didn't think nothing of it because the pollen count is high here. And then it went away later that afternoon. And then Friday, the same thing. So I didn't think much of it. Okay, on to Saturday. Saturday is when I recorded the last video I did, which was the vlog. My first time trying to vlog. And then I end up with COVID. How fun is that? But anyway, um, I had a good day that day. And again, my throat felt a little funny. And I'm thinking it's the pollen. Because the pollen will do that to me sometimes. Um, but then later that evening, things kind of took a turn for the worse. I um, edited the video. But... I said I was feeling tired, so I'll just post it the next day, which I did. I posted it on Sunday. So I just decided to turn in for the evening because I wasn't feeling too good. Hubby slept downstairs, so I didn't have to worry about passing on anything to him. But I woke up Sunday morning and it hit me like a ton of bricks. I had body aches from head to toe. My whole body was sore. I could barely move, it hurt so bad. I was so congested, I felt like I couldn't breathe. So I took it upon myself to go downstairs to our medicine cabinet and get one of those uh, tests, those at-home testing kits that you ordered from the government. And um, yeah, <clears throat> when I tell you I have flashbacks of pregnancy tests, one line, no, two lines positive. That thing turned two lines so quick. And there you have it. I was positive. So I immediately let hubby, I immediately let hubby know. And I told the boys um, when they woke up, I told them don't come near me. I had to make sure I sprayed down everything downstairs that I might've touched, wiped that down and sprayed it down. And now I'm just here in our bedroom, quarantining away from everybody else. Now, funny thing is I'm an introvert and I love being by myself a lot. But right now I just feel lonely because if I want to have some company, I really can't and that just sucks. <laughs> But overall, I'm starting to feel a bit better. Today is, what is today? Today is Wednesday. So yesterday I had a televisit with my doctor and she's wonderful. Um, so she prescribed me two medications. I got some, some of this right here, okay. I got that and I got some prednisone and I know that's a, a steroid. Um, she was gonna prescribe the emergency COVID medication for me, but she told me to try to wait it out one more day because you're really supposed to do it within those five days. And even though it was in within the five days, it was towards the latter end. So um, 
I don't think I need it. I mean, I'm just, this really right now, it just feels like the flu and it's just draining me. I'm so freaking tired. I've also been taking Mucinex to break up all that yuckiness in my chest because that's all trying to come up and my cough is uh, very hoarse, but it's it's getting that gook up and, and that's a good thing. Um, we also have um, vitamin C. My doctor told me to take that and vitamin D um, and zinc. And my mom had already ordered me some zinc on Amazon. I heard zinc does wonders. So I got these zinc gummies. They taste really good. <laughs> and, <coughs> uh, what else? A lot of water. Um, I, I don't have much smell or taste, but I think that's more so because of the congestion. I don't think it has to do with COVID when you lose your taste and smell because I can smell a little bit when this kind of breaks up a little bit and I can taste my food a little bit and I haven't lost my appetite. Go figure that. But I just wanted to come on here and tell you all what's going on with me because I have so many plans. Once this summer started, I had so many plans and, and, and I wrote down a lot of things for videos that I wanted to do, nail videos and hair videos and try more vlogs. But right now, I just need to take the time to heal and rest my body. But I'm so freaking bored, y'all. You can only watch so many lifetime movies. <laughs> <coughs> So I, I don't want to sound like I'm complaining. I know I will heal from this. I'm already feeling better. I look terrible, but I am feeling a whole lot better than how I felt on Sunday. Um, and there have been so many people, y'all, so many people who have not healed from this. I, um, I've lost loved ones. I've had friends that have lost loved ones and countless other people that that i don't even know but i feel for them now because this and this is i'm pretty sure this is the mild version and this hit me hard but this is the mild version because i don't need to be on oxygen i'm not on a respirator i'm breathing okay i'm healing and i'm getting a little emotional because so many people have not made it through this y'all so please y'all take care of yourselves it's real COVID is real take care of yourselves be safe um just try to be safe um I also feel a little guilty because I don't even know you know I had my mask on when I went out Saturday but I, I probably had a Saturday and I hope to God that I didn't pass it on to anybody else. I mean, I have my mask on. I, I put my sanitizer on when I get in the car. I use it in the stores. So I just hope I didn't pass this on to anybody else. Um, it's no joke. So, um, but yeah, that's it. My boys have been good asking me what I need and taking care of me. Hubby went out and got the meds for me. He also makes sure that I got lots of fluids. So, and Jojo, bless his heart, he's on the floor over here. He wants so bad to be near me. I think he feels like I'm mad at him. But you can tell that he knows, or he can tell something is wrong with mommy. He knows something is not just not right with her. But anyway, I'm pretty sure the next time I record a video, it's probably going to be to do this hair because <clears throat> I haven't been able to wash my hair or do my hair. And that's driving me crazy. So I'll probably do a full wash routine on my hair when um, I'm feeling better and more up to it. <laughs> okay. But thank you all if you're still watching my videos and um, for supporting me, subscribing to my channel. And I will be back when I get over this. 
to try to do more videos because I got time now, y'all. I got time now, so I'm very motivated to put in the work to do some videos. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.